Hi everybody, uh, we are again back with our best tutorial. This time we will be covering an important topic which will be Linux hardening. Whenever you go for interviews, they will ask you few questions related to Linux hardening. But we, we always in a dilemma how to answer it, where to start, what type of hardening they are asking. So in this tutorial, I will be covering uh, 4 to 5 aspects of hardening and will be discussing them in in detail if I can. Before starting hardening, we should know what is hardening. Hardening is a concept of security practices, recommendations and policies for various requirements which include audit and other legal requirements. Extent of hardening can vary according to infrastructure needs. Hardening include tracking security updates, managing software updates, and securing file systems. Hardening is not only particular to your software hardening. It also include your application hardening. It also include your hardware hardening. And it also include your legal hardening. Now companies, uh, companies which are ease verified or many companies they need to follow certain processes of hardening so that they can ensure the legality and user security in that company. Now good hardening will keep you away from vulnerabilities. Somebody ask, ask, may ask you what is the need of hardening? Why we require? We don't want that my file should be corrupted every day. I don't want an unauthorized access on a respective operating system. It might be time bounded and it might require planning to execute a well hardening structure. But it, but in long run, it is equally beneficial. So one shouldn't be uh, taking this out of your scope like I am not going to harden the system, it will work through. You need to have hardening at some level. Otherwise, there are many hackers in this world. There are many intentions and vulnerabilities explored every day and in production you can't take that much risk. You can't afford that much outage. So first type of hardening which I will be covering in this tutorial is tracking security updates. Talking about Linux vendors which may include SUSE, Red Hat and Debian, they will have advisory setups. They will have various type of security advisories then enhancement advisories, then bug advisories. So they will be looking for discrete CVEs. What are CVEs? Common vulnerabilities and exposures. They will have different advisories for uh, security, enhancement and bug which I have already mentioned. Then they will be executing uh, all the package management through backporting. Backporting like if I have a version of Apache that is 2.0.3 and now I am working in 2.0.4 I have fixed the few bugs in 2.0.3 but I also need to have RPM which can backport to the previous version and fix it so that in certain environment my applications are dependent on a particular version so it is really helpful to, to backport the previous kernel version instead of rebuilding or upgrading it to a new version Various inbuilt repository management tools are being engaged for keeping the security updates available to the system for respective kernel versions. Tools like yum, yast, apt-get, aptitude are the few renewal tools. So these are the tools which, which are used for package management, which are used for repository management. So this is, this is one of the major hardening if I talk about admin. But there are many interesting hardenings coming in next tutorial. So do watch next tutorials as well. Last but not the least, please subscribe our videos. We are trying to cover each and every topic and it will also motivate us. So please subscribe our videos. Thanks.